Hi there, this is Josh. I want to show you how to use section planes in SketchUp to produce an animation effect like this, where you can transition between active section cuts to hide and reveal geometry. Let's cruise over to this first scene here. I want to show you that I've got some section planes visible here. Uh, the important part of this technique is that section planes can be put inside a group or a component. So if I double click in here, you can see there's two section planes in that group, and all of these groups have section planes inside the group. So there's no global section planes or cuts through the entire model. They're all inside their own groups. I'm going to minimize that and go to this file here that's the same file, but I deleted out all the section planes. So this model I just got from the 3D Warehouse and I added my own scenes up here. And the layers here I named to correspond with these scenes. So let's take a look and see what's going on here. If I click on this subfloor layer, you can see that the let layer turns on. So if I cruise down the line, each of those layers turns on as I click to the next one. So besides that, the only other thing changing is the camera view, of course. Let's start in this plywood subfloor scene and take a look and see how we do this. So before I add a section plane, I want to make sure I'm in the correct context. So I want to click inside the subfloor group first so that I can add that plane inside the group. So section plane and will be prompted to give it a name initially. So I'm gonna name this like my scenes and layers here, plywood subfloor. It's good practice to give it a name because if you use the outliner in SketchUp, it's nice to navigate your section planes that way, especially if your model gets a little bit complex. It's much easier to find your section planes when you've named them if you use the outliner. I'm gonna give it a symbol too to correspond to that uh, layer and we'll place that in the model. You can see the orientation changes as I hover over different faces. I can also go into the empty space here, use the right key for red, up for blue, and left for green. And I'll just snap on that part of the model there and use the move tool to move that a little bit off the geometry. And you can see here I'm moving section planes around just like any geometry in SketchUp. And if I right click, I can choose to make that an active cut or reverse it if I'd like. So I can right click and reverse just like that, or right click and make active cut. If I make this one active, you can see it's not gonna show anything because it's cutting here and looking that way off into empty space. But for this scene here, plywood subfloor, I actually want this one to be active, so I'll make this active, and I'm gonna show you here on my scenes panel that active section planes is a property I can save to a scene. So with this one active, right there, all I have to do is update the scene and it will remember that. Let's go back to the 2x6 scene here and we'll turn on the subfloor layer, jump in here and make the other one active. So now right click, active cut, and then update that scene. And we'll go to the waterproof membrane scene now. Double click in here, go to tools, section plane, and I'll name this one waterproof. Oops waterproof membrane and that'll be symbol 3 and these symbols you can see in the model you can see that one's there's the two there waterproof membrane place and let's go the other direction this time we'll go right for red toss that in there and move it back just a little bit and then modifier key to copy it there let's turn off the rest of the model temporarily so we can just see what we're doing inside this group looks pretty good and then in the waterproof membrane scene we want this one active so it appears when we click on that scene so active cut update that scene and let's go back to the subfloor scene and turn on that membrane jump in here and activate this one and now update that scene and let's go back to this one and just see what we've got going on here so subfloor appears, but also the membrane's appearing there because I saved this scene in a state where that layer was actually turned on, the visibility was turned on. So I'm gonna turn this off and then update that scene. So let's try that again from two by six to the subfloor scene. That one animates on, waterproof membrane comes on, cool. Let's do that one more time, make sure we get this right. Let's try the mortar bed one. We'll double click in here and let's go to Tools, Section Plane. We'll give this a name of Mortar Bed and Symbol of 4. And we'll place that in the model here. And again, we'll just float this off the geometry just a little bit. Use the modifier 
uh, key for the move tool there to make a copy. And we'll activate this one here. You can also double click on the boundary of the section plane to make that active. So you can see, right click, it is the active cut. And then we'll update this scene. And now in the previous scene, we want this section plane to be active. So we'll go back here. And of course, we have to get, remember to turn this back on. That mortar bed one back on, jump back in there, and let's move this back. And in this one, we want this to be active, and we'll update that scene. And then while we're here, we might as well make sure that the mortar bed layer is also turned off. So right click and update. And now if I go back to this scene and click through, we should be all good. Let's make sure it looks good there. Subfloor comes on. There's the membrane and then the mortar bed. So that's pretty good. Um, one last thing that I would like to show is that for this kind of animation, you probably don't want to see the section planes themselves. The cuts are nice to see activating, but not necessarily the section planes. So we'll go into, let's minimize styles there and go, or scenes and go into styles. I just want to make a copy of this style here. And I want to change just one thing about this style. Actually, two. I'm going to change the name here to Section Planes Off, perhaps. And then we'll go into the Edit tab here, and we'll go to this category, and we'll turn off the Section Plane option there. We'll keep Section Cuts on, of course. So with this turned off, we want to make sure we update that style. So by clicking here, when I see these arrows, I can update the style. And then now if I go back to the Select tab, I can see what's going on here. I've got two styles here. This one is default view. The planes are on. This one is default view. The new name I gave it, and then planes are off. So what I want here is, let's say I want uh, all these scenes to have that new style. So I want to make sure, you know, I could go to each one of these scenes and change the style like this, and then update the scene. But what I'd rather do is just do this all at once. So to do that, I can open up the scenes panel here, do a shift select on all of those scenes. And then now I want to go make sure I've got that new style chosen. And then I can go to this one, this button here, and I can just turn off everything except the thing that I want to change for all of these scenes, which is the style. So with that checked on and the new style chosen, it's going to apply that to that update to all of these scenes. So update. So now I left the floor tile one off. So that one is going to show everything kind of in like the main first view. And then if I click through the rest of these, we'll just play this animation. They should all animate and not show the section plane, but of course the section cut should be working like that, looking pretty good. All right, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you can apply this to your SketchUp model. If you like this video, give us a like down below and let us know in the comments what you liked or didn't like so we can show you more skill builders on the things you wanna see. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.